Ladies and gentlemen, today we are making veal saltimbocca, a classic dish from Rome. I believe you went to Rome and you ate this. So, why don't you bring Rome into your kitchen and make it yourself? I am going to show you how to make it. I forgot to tell you, you can make this in less than 10 minutes. Oh, a fantastic meal in less than 10 minutes. Mmm. Mmm. Yum! 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 Mm. To make veal saltimbocca, we need veal fillets, okay? That's what we need to get. You can also use chicken if you like. You go to the butcher and you say, I need the fillet, the veal. So they cut it for the slice for you. They use the mallet and they press hard so they can make it flat as much as possible. You use how many slices as you want. Today I'm doing four slices. Then we need four slices of nice prosciutto. Make sure you get the Italian prosciutto. I like the Parma prosciutto. We need some sage. Get some nice fresh sage. About 50 grams of butter, half glass of wine, extra virgin olive oil, flour, salt and pepper. Last but not least, we need some toothpicks, okay? Make sure you have toothpicks. Let's start. First thing we're gonna do, just because I want this to be a little bit thinner, I'm gonna put baking paper at the bottom, baking paper on top, and I'm gonna use the mallet here, the flat one, just to spread a little bit more. And here we go, okay? This is what I want, okay? I want this to be nice and thin, so it will cook evenly and in no time. Guys, you can't always rely on other people. You need to rely on yourself. So if you wanna make good veal salt in bocca, you need to make a flutter. This is how you get rid of stress. And now it's time to assemble the salt in bocca. All right, what we do now is we get a slice, the first one, we get the prosciutto, and just make sure the prosciutto fits perfectly on the slice, okay? Here we go, here's the prosciutto. Get a nice leaf of sage, just put it over there, in the middle, get a toothpick, and what you do is you press in, and go in like this, so that way, the, the toothpick is holding the sage, the prosciutto, and the meat together, okay? They need to make love together, okay? So the first one is done. Now let's make the second one. Let's do the same thing here. Slice of prosciutto. Nice sage leaf. And now what we do is we get this. We go in, we go in. And then what we do here, we go in again. And that's how we stop. That's how we stop. The sage, the prosciutto, that's how we hold them together, okay? Very easy. Before we cook the meat, what we do is we get the meat and we just wanna put it on flour, okay? We get the meat and we wanna basically put flour on both sides, okay? The flour will create a cream when we mix it with the butter and the oil and the wine, you will see. The flour plays a very, very important role in this, okay? All right, this is how I wanna do this now, okay? I wanna put just one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, okay? Just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. What we wanna do is we're gonna put the butter in there and we are cooking this on a medium low heat. We don't wanna burn the butter. We want to do this very gently, okay? The meat doesn't wanna burn either. Now, this is something I like to do. Think of uh, ravioli with butter and sage, okay? We got butter, we need to put the sage in there will give extra flavor to the oil, to the butter, and when we cook everything, it will taste so much better. Now, basically, our oil is nice and warm. The butter is melting, which is beautiful. Well, what I wanna do now, as the butter is still melting in the middle, I'm going to add the meat, okay? 
Now what's gonna happen here, it's amazing. Basically, the flour on the meat will create a beautiful cream when you know it's combined, when it's mixed with the butter. This is what we're gonna do here, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook for a few minutes, one side, the sage is gonna bring extra flavors, and when it's cooked, we turn it around and we add the wine. Now we have the prosciutto in there, which is nice and salty. I don't wanna to use too much salt, but I just put a sprinkle of salt on top, not too much, okay? And just be generous with pepper. We do like pepper, okay? This is a Roman dish, and Romans love pepper. So, it is important we use it. The importance of cooking this gently. See, we don't wanna burn the butter. If you burn the butter, it's not gonna give the flavor that we want, okay? Move it around. The sage is nice. Mmm, beautiful aromas that we're getting from this pan. Beautiful, fresh aromas. So look at the bottom, oh wow. Oh guys, it cooks very quick, see? How oh, beautiful. The beautiful aromas, the flavors that come from this pan. In 10 minutes, we have a fantastic meal. The sage, the butter, the meat is cooked. We can turn it around. Come on, come over here, let's turn it around. One side is done, let's turn it around. So we turn this around, and now we cook the prosciutto side, just like this. Let's cook the prosciutto side. We don't wanna overcook it, otherwise it will dry up. We don't want to dry up the meat. Now at this point, it's very important. We we'll cook it for about a minute, and then we add the wine. The wine will give extra flavor, will make the meat moisture, and it will create extra cream. You will see. Let's do it. Half glass of white wine. Just like that. Oh, oh, oh. I've got wine into my nose. The beautiful yummy flavors. The cream that we are creating. Have a look at this. The cream that is creating thanks to the wine, thanks to the flour. Oh, what a beautiful dinner I'm going to have. I'm gonna eat all of them by myself. Oh yeah. Now guys, the wine is evaporating, okay? So don't worry if you're serving this to kids. It's actually kids friendly, okay? It is kids friendly. You're not drinking the wine because the wine evaporates. The alcohol is gone. What we wanna do now, we just wanna wait until this becomes a nice, creamy, a little bit thicker this cream, okay? So we can serve with the salt in Boca. I believe two more minutes and we are done. Two more minutes and we are done with this masterpiece. Simplicity at its best. Ah, oh, beautiful. And I just want you to see this. This is very important you guys see it, okay? See this? See this, the cream is done. See this? It's time to take it off because we don't want to make this too thick. The cream is done thanks to the wine and the flour. Look at that, all right? You are ready now to serve your salt in Boca. Oh, look how beautiful, look at this. We've got the perfectly cooked meat, perfectly cooked. Look at the cream that we have over here. Huh? And the meat is absorbing all this beautiful cream. Look at that. Look how beautiful and simple this is. A cream without the cream. Look how beautiful. Oh my God. Can't wait to serve this amazing dish. Now let's serve these babies. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at this beautiful dish. Now this is the best part. Best part, guys. Look at the cream here, look at this. Oh, yes. This is gonna take the flavors to the next level. Mmm. Yum. Guys, look at this beautiful cream. Huh? What are we gonna do with this cream now? Huh? We're gonna put it on the veal saltimbocca. And here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that.
Guys, now all we have to do is to try, okay? So let's cut a nice piece and I can feel from the knife. It's nice and moist. Let's have a look inside, see? Cooked to perfection, okay? Doesn't take long to cook. Creamy. Make sure the prosciutto comes here. Where are you trying to go? And now, let's have it. The best time of the video recipe. It's time to eat the veal saltimbocca. Mmm. Mmm. The cream it really gives you a very beautiful, beautiful kick. The prosciutto in there. Mmm. The meat is so moist. Make sure you go to a good butcher. This dish is just perfect. It's just amazing. If you're a meat lover, this is a great dish to have, let me tell you. Mmm. 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 Just enough salt, which is perfect. All you have to do now is to open a bottle of white wine and enjoy it. Please remember, you need to remove the toothpick before you eat it, okay? Don't forget. Oh, I need to keep eating this, okay? But I have to say goodbye to you. So, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Plate. Veal salt in bocca.